Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. We pause now to ask for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, Grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you once were alienated and hostile in mind because of evil deeds. God has now reconciled you in the flesh body of Christ through his death to present you holy without blemish and irreproachable before him, provided that you persevere in the faith, firmly grounded, stable, and not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, am the minister. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God himself is my help. Thank God, God himself God. is my help. O oh God, by your name save me, and by your might defend me, my cause. O oh God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. God, God myself is, is my help. help. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. God, God myself is my help. help. Alleluia, alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions? Then he said to them, 
the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, today, just a word about St. Peter. Claver, who is uh, our saint that we celebrate today, um, he was born in Spain and became uh, a Jesuit, but was trained in uh, Cartagena, which is now part of Colombia, going back then in the 1600s. Uh, those nations were not yet developed into national borders. But he was a person who was sent to minister there, and he ended up ministering to the slaves who came off of the slave ships. And he called himself a slave of the slaves. For 33 years, he labored among them, and he would not only bring them food as they got off the ships and minister to them, uh, preach, to them the gospel and baptize them, but he would follow up with um, visiting them in the places where they were in the plantations and mines, and uh, even to argue with and defend them against their taskmasters. Um, even though the popes condemned uh, slavery at that time, most of the local clergy and the bishops of that era ignored it because it was lucrative for those wealthy colonists who were there. And so he became someone who was uh, a person who was also disdained by those around him and often got himself into controversy because of his defense of the slaves. Some of the wealthier people who were colonists would not enter into his churches because he allowed the blacks to sit in the same church as the whites were going to, to uh, pray. And St. Peter Claver also ministered to those in prison and those who were sick. He was truly a person who followed Jesus's edict for the corporal works of mercy. 33 years he labored. For four years, he suffered from a, a very bad disease and his caretaker who had disdain for him treated him badly through most of that time until he died, which he patiently endured and said nothing. So we honor St. Peter Claver, who was a person of great humility, who served even when it was not uh, something that others believed should be done. He did what others wouldn't. He did what needed to be done. May we also do that which is good, that which is needed, whether it is in season or out of season. Let us stand to pray. With confidence and humility, let us present our prayers and petitions before the Lord. For all priests, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them in living their vocation with the courage and dedication exemplified by St. Peter Claver. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of all people, may God draw all hearts to the fullness of truth and repentance of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who experience hunger for food insecurity from food or food insecurity, may the Lord sustain them in hope and lead them to where they will find assistance and welcome. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our community of faith, may the grace of the sacraments help us to grow in generosity and kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may Christ the King and all the angels and saints welcome them at the heavenly banquet, most especially for Henry de Amici being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? For peace to come to the Ukraine and to our own cities. 
pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For liberation for all of those who are currently being used as slaves and who are trafficked by others, mm -hmm. that the Lord would give them relief and set them free and that others would come to their defense, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Loving and gracious God, hear these prayers we have lifted up before you and answer them, we pray, in accordance with your divine will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed St. Peter Claver so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For as on the festival of St. Peter Claver you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, May we also, throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise <laughs> and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed St. Peter Claver, that we may preserve and persevere in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We sing the second verse of our hymn. Oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in your grace and guide us in distress and free us from all sin till heaven we possess. Have a good day, all. You too, Father.